Hi folks, Colin Tyler here at Woodridge Ford. And once again, thank you for watching our videos. A big shout out and big thank you to everyone who's been liking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for us. Without further ado, let's take a look how to set up and use Android Auto in the Sync 4 system in Ford vehicles. Okay folks, so now we're gonna take a look at how to set up the Sync 4 system with your Android Auto device wirelessly. It's a really easy, intuitive process. First things first, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have this lovely app here, which you'll see at the top, the Android Auto app installed. When you first get it, you're gonna see a setup screen that's gonna take you through different options. We've shown this in a previous video, so we're gonna to link to that below. If you don't see it, you can go into settings here this is going to take you to the settings menu where you can set up and choose connect to car. And this is going to come in handy if you're having real problems getting it set up on the Sync 4 screen. So first things first, before we show you that way, we're going to show you how to do it through the Bluetooth. You're going to go into your settings. You're going to go connect devices under phone. You're going to choose add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Now you're going to have two options here. First is you can discover. Select one of the devices found by sync. And it's going to find the device and you can choose to do it here. So if I hit the pixel, it will start the connection process there. We're Search just going to go back on your device and select it once it is found. Next way is if you want to do it from your phone, you're going to hit pair new device. It's going to search immediately. It finds the Ford F-150. You're going to hit pairing. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. You're going to hit yes. And you're going to hit pair here. And you're completely your paired safety, up and ready to go. Please alert to change in road conditions and use sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. And this is a nice feature. It's going to walk you through every step of the process. So you're not on your own on this one. We're going to leave 911 assist off just because don't want to make a mistake and call those poor people. They've got enough work without bad calls from us. So we're going to hit finish there. Next message that's going to come up and you'll see it on your phone as well. It's going to ask for message access. You're going to hit yes. And you're going to see your device supports Android Auto. Android Auto may collect connected vehicle data, such as location, speed, Ford is not responsible, you know all the shtick. You're gonna hit enable. You're gonna get the spinning wheel of doom. And suddenly on your phone, you're gonna get a little vibration that says Android Auto would like to turn on Bluetooth and sync with your contacts in your car, allow your car to access and display notifications from your phone. You're gonna hit next. Your assist will go, so it's going through, it's working. Your phone app has now changed to Android Auto. So you'll notice you got the nice Android Auto full display screen. We're immediately taken to the navigation mode. Couple different music choices. So you get a really robust system here. You can access your maps. Yeah. YouTube music, won't turn that on, just quick press of a button, you can see all your lists, you can go back, find your full library, find new songs, access to things like Audible. If you want to go back into the original Ford Sync system, just going to hit one button here, it's going to take you over to the apps menu. We're gonna go back, take a look. You have your reminders, and of course, your weather. So Currently in Calgary, it's six degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 11 and a low of minus two. So, easy access to the weather app. That way, if while you're driving, you wanna know weather, you wanna know traffic conditions, you don't have to worry about hopping over to the local radio station phone ability so you can go in see your favorites your recents your contacts 
If you go more, you can choose to dial a number or access your voicemail. When you go back, of course, we're going to take a look at the settings. So you get a really nice robust settings feature here. You can choose to show message notifications. You can turn off sound. You can automatically resume media or turn that off if you don't want it. You can have it show weather and you can access it from on screen. So one little feature, and I keep forgetting that happens in the new Android Auto. As you saw here, when I try to access it, immediately shuts it out. So reason is, it's putting everything onto the car. So while the car is in motion, while it's being used by the car, it's gonna block you out from using it. This is great to stop distracted driving. Nice little feature. Going home, yeah, easy to access. You do have your full Hey Google function. Hey Google, call Woodridge Ford Lincoln. Calling Woodridge Ford Lincoln. Simple as that. Thank you for calling Woodridge Ford. This is Jane, how my doctor call? Hi, Jane, this is Colin calling from a lovely 2021 Ford F-150. We're taking a look at the <laughs> Sync Ford system and the hands-free device. And we thought, who better to call? Oh, well, hello there. Well, I think we made a good connection. See, and again, you see great sound system. If you're phoning Woodridge Ford, you're not talking to a robot. You get to talk to the lovely Jane. Thank you again, Jane. <laughs> Well, thank you for just checking in with me on a beautiful Friday. Enjoy yourself. You have a great day, Jane. <laughs> hey, thanks, Colin. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> An easy hang up just like that. So real nice, easy, intuitive system. Works the same with the maps. If I hit the right button. So one little thing, if you do hit hold down the button, it will take you to the dial a number, so you can dial hands-free. You hit your speak. Directions to the nearest Starbucks. Starbucks is one minute from your location by car in light traffic. Brings up the route, really nice. Easy, you just click. Head northwest. And you're immediately going in the right way. Easy way to keep things, your eyes on the road, real minimal distraction, nice screen. One thing you can do here is if you go in, you are able, say you want to check the eco behavior of your car, you can bring that up there. If we go into navigation here, go back to the original, you are able to bring up your Android Auto on the right hand side. We're gonna jump back into this screen. So this has been a quick look at some of these nice features here. And of course you do have your weather top right corner there, easy access. Now that we've taken a look at uh, some of the features and how to set up your Android Auto, we're gonna take a quick look at how to disconnect it from the vehicle and where to go if you need to do a bit of troubleshooting because it's not connecting through your, your Android device. So you're gonna go into your settings, phone list, and you should see your phone down there. If it's misbehaving, you can go in here one, if you don't want to use Android Auto, you can hit disable and it will immediately disconnect. Easy press of a button to reconnect it. I see in the background, it's doing its full connection. Immediately jumps in, again, back to settings, phone list, you'll see your phone. Now, if you want to completely remove the phone, you can manage contacts set ringtones, set text messaging from the app. If you don't want to just disable, you can completely remove the phone by hitting yes. 
One other step with an Android device is you're going to go back into your settings. You're going to go Bluetooth. You're going to see that Ford right there. You're going to forget it. And you're back to start. Now, if you're having a lot of problems connecting, that is going to be your main way to reset things to that factory fresh way with Android Auto. You can continue to select from the car screen or you can go into the app itself. and go connect to car. And this is gonna be a good way if you need to get that step-by-step -step in order to make your connection to the vehicle. So hopefully our video on how to use Android Auto on the Sync 4 system was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget, like, subscribe. You know what to do, stay safe. WoodridgeFord.com, speak to you soon. Take care.